Hey everyone, my name is Caitlin Malone and welcome back to my true crime channel. I mentioned this video quite a few weeks ago, but the Gabby Petito case has been keeping me very busy with all the frequent updates and trying to stay on top of that. But today we are here to finally talk about the update, possibly the final update in the Alexis Sharkey case. If you haven't seen my previous video on this case, I definitely recommend going to watch it before you watch this update because you're probably going to be very confused about what is going on. So I'll have that link down below. Definitely go watch that first. But I will give a quick little update to refresh everyone's memory on what this case is about. Now this case is very, very similar to the Gabby Petito case in the fact that Alexis was a 26 year old social media influencer whose body was found on November 27th of last year after tension and domestic abuse happening in the marriage with her husband, Tom Sharkey. Also like Gabby, she was found strangled, but unlike Gabby, she was found laying naked on the side of the road. There's a lot of strange things happening in this case and Tom had thoroughly denied being involved in the death of his wife and months and months, almost a year has passed and it seemed like nothing was happening in this case. I really thought that it was gonna go cold they never called Tom out as a person of interest or said that he was involved in her death. And it really just felt like police were doing Jack until a couple of weeks ago. It seemed that police actually were still investigating Alexis's murder because nearly a year after her death, Houston Police Department officials announced that on October 6th, they went to Fort Myers, Florida, where Tom Sharkey was staying at a relative's home and they attempted to arrest him. And when they tried to arrest Tom for the murder of his wife, Alexis, Tom killed himself. So here's a quote from detective Michael Burrow, who said that there was no confrontation between Tom and law enforcement before he shot himself. So I quote, the investigation determined that Tom Sharkey, her husband is the only person who had the means, motive and opportunity to have committed the murder. We were able to eliminate other suspects that came up, some of which were brought up by Mr. Sharkey himself. There was also clear evidence that Tom Sharkey had not been truthful with some key issues and statements that he had made to the police, which we discussed a lot of that in my previous video that I did covering this case. There was a lot of really sketchy things. Tom's story about Alexis running out through their balcony and jumping over this like little shrubbery thing and getting into some random car made no sense. None of us believed it, at least I did not believe that in my opinion. It was sketchy, it made no sense. They also stated that there are no other people suspected to be involved in the murder of Alexis Sharkey. I never once doubted that Tom was involved in this. And I wanna say that I'm surprised that Tom shot himself, but honestly, I'm not. In my opinion, he is an absolute coward who strangled his beautiful wife for no other reason than then she was gonna leave him. He wasn't a man when he killed her and he wasn't a man when he was gonna have to deal with the consequences of that. And everything I just said there sounds strangely familiar to another person that was just found dead recently. So how do you guys feel about the conclusion of this case? Are you shocked? Did you have another person in mind for her murder? Let's discuss this in the comments because again, I am not surprised at all. Like I honestly was more shocked that the police finally went to arrest him because they've been so tight lipped on this case. And as I said, this may be my final video on the Alexis Sharkey case because now that Tom is dead, there may not be any updates on this case. We may never know the true reasoning to why he did what he did and charges may never be laid. But if anything else major happens in this case, I will definitely be updating you guys on it. I've been covering it since the very beginning. My boyfriend actually sent me this case as soon as it happened because she was an influencer like I am doing and he thought it was super strange that she was found the way she was. But if there's anything that we can look at positively on this, we now know that he is not walking out there free and we know that he will never be able to harm anyone else. In the words of Alexis's family, he served himself justice by killing himself. Again, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscription button as well as turn on the bell so that you're notified when I post any other videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.